Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and I'm going to show you 10 shots in how to maximize the opportunity of getting one or even more shots depending on how many shots you're going to take. Before we start do not forget to subscribe to this channel also visit golfclashtommy.com for more golf clash related content. If you do want a guide specific or like personalized text guides or maybe you want training session you can find that on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy last but not least make sure you make a comment in the comment section below with what you got in your chest also what chest you got and uh, let me know it's always fun to see if there is players getting the hole in one like I'm gonna do in this video we're gonna take a look at the course that we're going to play we're going to play hole and number seven from uh, the recent drum or links in the Celtic Cup tournament and this hole feature a lot of rough bumping when we played it in the tournament that we don't that we aren't going to be doing now because the rough bump isn't in play in the same way as it is from second and 30 so we're just going to play it normal but i do have a good adjustment that you're gonna see just in a bit we can win the obsidian chest if we do make the hole in one we do get the amber chest if we do get the yellow ring crimson chest as we do get the red ring aqua chest for the light blue ring and cobalt chest for the dark blue rim. We're going to have, as you can see on the top left, a wind between five to eight miles per hour. And we press the question mark on the top right if we do have more questions. If this is not enough, you maybe have an issue, maybe something happened when you played your shot, then you press contact us and write a ticket to the Golf Clash support. So, we're going to take a look at the adjustment here first and foremost which is golden long iron maximum distance with a 10 percent over adjustment and if you're not using any application or something like that then you take that as 1.68 per ring there is the 10 percent already included for those of you that do want to even more uh, simplify like for myself you know i love to just okay What's the win? What's the uh, ring number we're going to use? So then we take a look at the top here, or like like this, and then you can see that I made a win per ring table where you can find the wind on the left, and then rings on the right. You can see that I separated with 0 0.2 decimals. It's because you know there is such a minor difference between that, and we don't want to take up much space either. So let's uh, say we do have a wind that is six miles per hour. Then we're gonna play. 3.6 range so the only thing that you're gonna do is that you're going to just follow this uh, VPR table on top there and you're gonna be spot-on that's the beauty with it so landing position here and we're going to have three refer references that we're going to look for first the easiest of them three the red ring by the rough line here to the top right also the blue ring very close to the bunker line very hard to see with this angle but if you move your camera a little bit to the left uh, when you have just find the red ring you're gonna see how close the blue ring is by the bunker and you're gonna be close you're gonna be right by the line also you can see that the ball guy line is pointing straight at the pin with the second bounce in the dark green square approximately two green squares in on the green that's the hardest one to see so i would say focus on the red ring and then the blue ring and then having the ball guidelines straight at the pin as a start you know and very important to know this is without any spin included so you put this target before you're adding spin so it's going to be easier to replicate and then the spin obviously is going to put your ball guideline in a different way but I start with using this without spin to just make it easier for us. If we do want to see the reference with some line, here you can see the blue ring out there, the red ring there, and then the second bounce there as where the ring says. And there we do have it, ladies and gentlemen, and I would like you also to see the asset here. Uh, as you know that I do make this asset for every golden shot nowadays where you can find the spin You will can find the adjustment you can find landing position and the, the rings link is in the video description down below So make sure that you take that link save it and then you can just use that if you're not having the time to watch the video We're gonna get back to that in the end. So let's start with the video um, As always I'm going to go over the shots that I'm making and then we're gonna summarize it in the end so 
Shot number one, we start by finding a red ring by the rough line with the blue ring very close to the bunker. 5.8 with a straight crosswind. And I'm going to play this one in this example though. Half a bar of backspin and two bars side spin to the right. A little bit too little backspin and also a little bit too little side spin. But we're still gonna get it up there though. Uh, and we're gonna tweak this uh, as we go. 5.8 as we take a look at the table there, 3.5 rings. No curl whatsoever in this golden shot, which is absolutely nice, so we don't have to do that. You can see here we bounce very nicely, but we're gonna come in here on the left side. We do need a little bit more side spin combined with backspin there as we went a little bit too far. It's like when we do miss, we do want to at least be getting the red ring. That's at least my goal when it comes to, uh, uh, what can I say, when it comes to uh, if I do miss the hole in one for that matter. So we try to uh, look for the landing position here. 7.4, we do have a more tailwind than we do have crosswind. This is a hard wind because this is kind of like an in-between wind and that's always going to be tougher. In this scenario, I'm using one and a half bar backspin and also half a bar of side spin to the right. And that could be tweaked a little bit as well. The hard part here is to get the, the, the backspin correct so we're not going too far. 7.4 gives us 4.4 rings. And we take our shot, we bounce on the fairway, but we're gonna come in a little bit uh, uh, hot once again. Not, you know, not super hot. So this is absolutely okay, but we do need more side spin to the right. So now we have missed two on the, uh, on the left side of the cup. And now we need to tweak that so we're not going to miss on the left. So, and as always, you know, Apocalypse Cars is always nice. And then in the end, we get the Berserker Ball. And that's the beauty with the Golden Shot. For those of you that might not play in Master Division Tournament or struggles to get, uh, get good positions in Master Division, then the Golden Shot Hard is super important to get some Berserkers. So 5.9 tailwind and crosswind. We're going one bar side spin to the right and one and a half bar backspin. A little bit more side spin as you remember from the last example. And 5.9, we look at the table. Okay, it's in between. I play it then 3.5 rings. Hit the ball perfect and we're gonna see ourselves bouncing very nicely on the fairway. We're coming in here and we are going to be deadly close to the hole in one. Why couldn't that drop? Why couldn't that drop? But still, as if it's a beautiful shot and we can then take that with us that, okay, now we're starting to get close. Now we're starting to get dialed in. Uh, open the sheds to take a look and we get some end ring cars in the end. And of course, the lovely berserkers there um, as the final uh, thing in the chest. So 6.3, once again, we do have a tailwind crosswind. A lot of tailwind crosswind here, but that's good. Then we can dial it in and uh, now as, I mentioned, you know, the one and a half bar backspin, and we'll play one bar side spin to the, re to the right. Remember, that's basically the same type of adjustment that we made now for the last shot. And that's definitely something that will be close when we are playing this shot. Uh, once again, you know, we are missing every shot on the left side, even though when we went a little bit short, uh, that we missed there. And this one is also going to miss on the left, but once again, <laughs> deadly close to the hole in one can we start getting the drop we do need to clear out those obsidian chests there or like that obsidian chest there so we can get a full pack of berserkers but also some good cards houdini 10 cards and then we get some uh, sahara five berserkers once again on that account and now we do have a straight headwind this is interesting though now i'm actually going to play this one with a little little bit of topspin not much at all. This is half a bar. I want even to go less. Like we do want like 0 0.2, like a, just a smidge of topspin uh, too. And I know there is some people loving the word smidge, but we do just need a little bit of topspin uh, to be able to get up towards the pin. And that's the, once again, the hard part when it comes to uh, the headwind shots that we, mm, how much topspin would we need? Because we only need topspin if we do have a straight headwind. So the ball is coming in very, very nicely. We get to zoom in, but as you notice there, I am a little bit too hot. I shouldn't be using half a bar of topspin. I should be using just 0 0.2. 
And then we open the light blue ring here, Nirvana cards, that's good. Hammerhead, that's not bad either. Then two Berserkers, and we go to shot number six. And we do have a Tailwind Crosswind, but on the other direction. We line up the same. Red ring by the rough line, blue ring by the bunker line, ball guideline to the hole. And then we're going to play this one with 1.75 bars of backspin. And I'm actually not using any side spin here. I would say that here we do need to use a little bit. So that's good. Half a bar is added to the left, but as I do have in my note, it should be at least one bar side spin to the left in this with this shot. Even though it's more tailwind than it is crosswind, it is very important there that we do get the side spin in a correct way. We bounce on the fairway. We're coming in, but we just barely miss that on the right. That kind of goes towards what I said. You know, we need a little bit more side spin uh, with that type of wind. It's only like. It's only when we do have an absolute dead on a tailwind where we can remove and play half a bar of side spin instead. Jung list and then three berserker and three more shots to go. Can we drop the hole in one? We do have a crosswind right to left here. And now we're going to first line up. I was about to make a mistake here to add spin before I find, did find the position, but I do uh, remove that and then we go with, uh, with very close to one bar of backspin, 0.75 bars as we do have a little bit of headwind uh, and not having a straight crosswind. 2.25 bars side spin to the right, 6.5 gives us a 3.9 range. And we hit the ball perfect. Let's see if we can kick this ball in. Getting it close. We like the angle. Can it roll towards the pin? And we're getting it so close. Oh, okay. That was very, very close. Sorry, that was shot number seven. Now we do have three more shots to go. <laughs> so close. So close. So close. So close. Needed a little bit less um, backspin though. One berserker ball to get uh, that ring there. And now we go to shot number eight. We line up. We do have a tailwind crosswind. And as you know, we have been practicing on that uh, on that type of wind during this guide. Like already three shots with this wind direction where we have been getting so close. Is it time? 6.5, 3.9 rings. And uh, we are going to, in this case, line up it as normal. The same all the time. We're only going to make the spin uh, in a slight different way depending on wind angle. And then we hit the ball perfect and the ball comes out and it comes in and now we get a nice camera angle and it yeah, takes it in on the right side of the hole for the first hole in one for us here in this guide. Nice! Now we're gonna see what we do get in the obsidian chest here on this account. Let's see if we can get something good. Backbone and then Malibu. We do have the quarterback. We do have some ugh, castaway cards. Houdini cards, that's okay though. Uh, and then the nine Berserkers. And that's what we're looking for in the end. Shot number nine. And now we do have a uh, crosswind right to left with a little bit of headwind. So we need to make sure that we're not overusing the backspin and going short. There isn't anything that is uh, worse than going short in line. We line up with the ball guy line as a normal and 2.25 bars of side spin to the right with. Uh, in this scenario, I'm going with slightly less than one bar of back, backspin, 5.3, gives us 3.1 rings. Uh, we line up, we adjust, and we hit the ball perfect. And there you can see the clock was ticking fast. We had to rush it a little bit, but we like this view. We like this view. We take the right edge of the cup, get in the hole for the second hole, lane one. Let's see if we can get some better cards. Uh, on this one here and we're gonna see what we can get so we do have the rocket and we do have backbone cards the downing one is crap and then we have the hornet that's a good and then we do have the rison which is not that good but the nine berserkers last shot tailwind crosswind again we this is the fourth or the fifth time we get i think this is the fourth time fourth time we are getting this type of win can we make it happen once again we're gonna play it half one and a half bar backspin uh, and one and a half bar side spin to the right remember from the start when we only uh, used one bar and we just missed it to the left and 5.8, according to the table, it gives us 3.5 rings. And now we do hit this ball perfect. 
We like the look. It bounces on the fairway. We like the camera angle, and this one comes in, comes in like a beauty. So right at the pin for the hole in hole in one number three, and that's gonna be the final video for this guide. And now we only get the amber chest as I've already gotten the hole in one on this account. And then you obviously, if you have gotten one time, you can't get obsidian chest again. Then you get the closest chest below. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, now let's summarize with the, the um, with the spin first and foremost. Tailwind, uh, straight tailwind, 1.75 bars backspin, half a bar of side spin to the right. Tailwind and crosswind left to right, 1.25 bars backspin and one and a half bar side spin to the left. If we do have a right to left tailwind crosswind, we go 1.25 bars backspin and one and a half bar side spin to the right. Crosswind left to right, one bar backspin and 2.25 bars side spin to the left. Crosswind right to left, one bar backspin, 2.25 bar side spin to the right, headwind crosswind, one and a half bar side spin to the left. Oh, uh, so as you notice, no uh, top or backspin when it comes to headwind and crosswind. Headwind crosswind right to left, one and a half bar side spin to the right, uh, right, and then final headwind half a bar of top. Uh, sorry, 0.2 bar is top spin and half a bar of side spin to the right. And we look at the landing position. We're gonna take the one with reference. Francis here we do have the red ring by the rough line blue ring by the bunker line and the second binds the second bounce in the dark um the dark green square is pointing straight at the pin that's the landing position and for those of you that do want to have the golden shot asset with the landing position adjustment the rings the spin then you take it from the video description down below once again everybody thank you so much for watching this guide and tutorial don't forget to watch the one for medium if you're looking to bring home some kingmakers make sure you make a comment in the comment section below but also hit thumbs up uh, if you like the guide thank you so much and good luck in the golden shot